What's up everybody? Gibson's Lawn Service checking back in with another one. Uh, actually, I actually let another property go. The reason I let the property go, I'm just too big for that subdivision. I'm too good now. I called the guy and said, hey man, I gotta let your property go. He said, well, uh, I was just about to call you, man, to come cut the yard. Uh, he said, you mind, you mind me asking you why? I said, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. My minimum, I said, my minimum. My minimum is $100. Unless you want to pay me $100 to show up and cut, I ain't coming. He said, well, man, yeah, you out of my league. I said, oh, yeah. I, I said, yeah, I, I'm, a, uh, I'm too big. I'm too big for your area, man. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fish in a small pond now. But no, at any rate, I didn't do that. But I, I did end up having to let another property go. And the reason I let the property go is, like I said, I'm trimming down my route. I'm no longer going to that side of town. So I just informed him I wasn't going to be coming back to that side of town. He was like, oh, man, I'm going to miss you, man. You do great work, this, that, and the other. Uh, and I ended up referring him to another guy, and I called that guy. I said, hey, man, take care of this customer. He's a good customer. He pay on time. He always get extras. Uh, and I didn't want to build up a route on that side of town, so I just I just let it go. But check this out. Here, here is something I kind of picked up on. Uh, I've been getting calls all morning because, you know, the season about to start. I got one call, uh, somebody had one immediate, I, somebody had gave me a call, said they got a lot of work need to be done. I don't service that area. I sent the, sent the work to somebody else. And as I was finishing up today, I got another call, I want to say about a good 15, 20 minutes ago. And it's a big church. And they called, said they wanted to get an estimate. Now here's what I learned about either, either houses like this or churches like this. You know, people with money. Like, you know, you get you now here's I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to break it down the best way I can. The higher you elevate in life, whether it be business or personal or on the job, it comes at a cost. And here's what I mean by that. Like at my full-time job, you got two kind of welders. You got the regular welders, and you got the X-ray and the UT welders. Now when a regular welder don't come to work or he leave early or he miss, don't nobody really think nothing of it. But when that x-ray man miss or that UT man miss, they're like, man, we call him, see where he at. Is he coming? We need him. Because that welder has re reached a certain level to where he's real good at what he does. Now, you take somebody living in a million dollar house. If they want to get construction work done, you, you can either call the big boys out, you can call the middleman out, or you can call Chuck in the truck. Now, when the middleman come out, Chuck in the truck come out, and the big boys come out, they know you got money. So whatever they was about to charge you for that property, they gonna charge maybe a good two, five, two to five percent more because you had it. Now see the big boys, they price is already high because all they deal with is rich people. So you just another drop in the bucket. To the guy in the middle, yeah, you're gonna be a good resource to his business. He gonna give you his normal price, maybe a 5% increase. Now when Chuck come along, Chuck price gonna be way off, but Chuck thinking he's still doing something. All right. Now I'm not saying this is what happened with that church, but this is the only thing I can think of. Now. You got two big companies in my area. You got Gulf Breeze and you got Turf Masters. Now, I'm sure the people that run that church know, hey, we can call Gulf Breeze out here or Turf Masters out here. But when you call them two companies out there, you got to come on with it. You got to come on with it. They ain't playing. They go, when they put, when Gulf Breeze pull up, let's just say you got a 10 acre property. When Gulf Breeze pull up, they have they two truck, two trucks is pulling up eight zero turns coming out that trailer and they not gonna be there they for 10 acres they ain't gonna be there an hour because see they built up to that they built up to that level to where they can charge what they want either you're gonna pay it or you, you ain't gonna pay it now, now like i said now that church know who the, who the big boys is in town what it is <clears throat> the big boys are charging too much so now you're trying to find that sweet spot that land in the middle who gonna give you a good deal and, and, and typically this is what happens. I'm not saying this is what happened with these guys. I'm not saying this is what happened with this church, but I noticed that with a lot of properties. Chuck, they end up hiring a Chuck in the truck. 
let's just say, let's just let's just say, I'm just gonna throw some random numbers out here. Let's just say it's a five acre property, right? Now the big boys probably want two hundred dollars an acre, so you had a thousand dollars a cut, right? Now you got the guys that fall in the middle; they probably gonna want about one fifty, one forty a cut, one forty an acre, right? And then you got Chuck. Chuck wants sixty dollars an acre, and for Chuck, Chuck just want weekend fishing money or something. You know what I'm saying? A little extra money. That's all Chuck wants. But here's what happened. When people hire Chuck, they get used to that little $60 an acre cut. And the problem comes in when Chuck equipment tear up. When Chuck equipment tear up, he gonna go look at the price of some real equipment. And he gonna say, hey man, I'm sorry. I can't maintain your property no more. And then those people go, they own the hunt again for either another Chuck in the truck or for some, or this is what happens. This is this is what happens. When Chuck, when Chuck fail and he can't give them what they want, they either gonna go on the hunt for another chuck, or they gonna say, man, let's just get the professionals out here and be finished with it. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that's what happened with that church, but uh, I can service that property. I, re I have the equipment to do it. It's, it is around about five acres, if not more. He gave me the address. I don't, if he was in my area, I probably would've jumped on it. But he's out of my area. It's gonna be a lot of traffic when I go over there. I gotta put another man in the truck. Then I got to fight getting back on my side of town. It's just not worth it for me. So I end, I pass it to another guy that might know a guy, but it's not something I want. So I just, I was straight up with him. I just told him I don't service the area. But um, that is what it is, man. I'm just putting this video out here. And uh, look, it's one way to go. It's only one way to go. And that's up.